Happy Youth Day, ladies and gentlemen. On this week's episode, Taonga Kaonga Taonga. Hi, everybody, and Happy Youth Day. Um, my name is Taonga Kaonga, and uh, I work in advertising. I work for an ad agency where I'm a digital account manager. Uh, that is my eight to five job. I work Monday to Friday, obviously, and uh, my job is mainly. Um, coordinating and managing all online marketing efforts for my clients. I am also part of the Fashion Revolution Zambia. That is a group of uh, people who are advocating sorry, for sustainable fashion in Zambia, where I happen to be the events coordinator. I also write for the Nkwazi magazine, uh, where I focus on lifestyle and fashion stories. Um, I'm also a fashion blogger. I started blogging in 2015, so this year marks almost six years actually, six years actually of blogging. Uh, my blog is basically uh, just a blog about fashion and I share lifestyle stories. Um, I also recently started my own business called The Handyman. Um, the Handyman basically is just a business that uh, houses many handymen. Uh, for convenience sake basically. So I understand with the handyman jobs, it's not easy to find like the right plumber, sorry, the, the right plumber, sorry, the right painter, you know, a carpenter, and these people who do things on time and conveni conveniently and do a great job. So this is why I started the handyman to be that link between client and the handyman so that I'm you know, like a problem solver in that area because I do understand as well that sometimes not all handymen have jobs. So it was also like a big deal for me or it was something that I was passionate about to help where I can, you know, be a link, help them find jobs and also just um, sort out the problem of convenience, the time management and all of that so that it's quick, easy, convenient service and at the same time I'm empowering other people with the handyman. Um, so basically the handyman is uh, a very, very new concept. I uh, began uh, handyman in January, that's when I launched, and the response was very, very great. Uh, people have been very supportive, which was quite surprising, but like a very, very good surprise. Um, yeah, so basically that's me. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much, Taonga. Uh, you mentioned um, you're into fashion blogging, uh, marketing, and now the handyman. Will you please tell us your educational background? Okay, so I have a bachelor's degree in communications. I did that at UMSA for four years. Uh, so that is my educational background, yes. Okay, so three months down the line, your idea of the handyman was to be a problem solver for those lacking in employment and also having problems of convenience and whatnot. Mm -hmm. How many people have you helped out in the employment uh, problem solving scenario? <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, well, I've helped out a number of people. I can't really put a count, but I know I could do better because uh, I think the handyman is is not my full-time job so yeah so it'll be nice i'm i'm happy i'm quite content with the people that i've helped uh have their problems solved a plumber a painter a carpenter and uh, what's surprising is that many people like plumbers actually it's like a plumber is the one who's on demand so i've had like a good number of people but uh it would also be nice to have more people because it's a fairly new concept and also sometimes maybe the challenges that I will face is having time to maybe market the handyman because I have all these other things that I'm doing and also finding uh, yeah just marketing and convincing people that you know like in as much as you might have like a good time or whatnot you can take off the stress off your back so that is just been like maybe one of all the three challenges but overall, the reception has been good. I know it can be better uh, once I just uh, strategize and create like a proper marketing plan. Because I am running everything myself. I'm the one who's doing all the admin work. I'm the one doing the marketing. I'm the one calling the 
handyman, I'm the one linking with clients, I'm the one communicating with clients, I'm the one um, allocating time slots. So I'm literally doing everything. So sometimes it can be overwhelming, but uh, I'm confident that I will learn as I go. Okay, talking about multi multitasking, how have you managed to deal with all these titles, all these responsibilities? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's not easy. It's really, really not easy. There are times where I just feel like I need a break. Uh, but I mean, like, it has to be done, you know, like, this, all these things are important to me. My job is very important to me. I love what I do. Uh, my writing is important to me for the writing that I do at Inquasi because I get to write about things that I'm passionate about, which is sharing fashion stories and telling stories and lifestyle stories because I'm also coming from a background of blogging. So that is something that is dear to me and I'm very grateful for. So I have to find time for these things that I am passionate about. And also the handyman is my baby now. So I, in as much as I don't have that much time, it's nice, it's always nice to find that balance and also, um, I'm big on self-care. Uh, so when I feel overwhelmed and whatnot, like I'm happy it's a long weekend today. So just once I get off the work that I need to do, I'll just have some downtime and just find ways to relax and just uh, reflect and strategize. So that's how I kind of manage, you know, like I know these things are important to me and I'll find time to just uh, give all these projects, the attention that they deserve, but also not forgetting about myself and that I sometimes I need to take a break. Okay, interesting. Being Women's Month, what is your thought about a woman in this world, in this world of entrepreneurship, in this world of business, in this world of managing? What is a woman? Uh, so first of all, one thing I'm, I was and I was thinking about this earlier. One thing I'm very grateful for is that I'm a young woman in this world today, and uh, the world is changing. Uh, obviously, it's not the same as it was the time my mom was growing up, my mom's mom and my aunts. So basically, I'm very appreciative that the world is now open to uh, women empowerment and supporting women and uh, just encouraging women and uh, letting them know that they can be whoever they want to be uh, yes we still do have like inequalities here and there but the world is so much better and to just uh, have a good understanding or to be very certain that you have people behind you who are rooting for you you know you ha I have women that I look up to um, I have women around me um, that are doing big things so why can't I and it's amazing to just see women owning who they are and taking charge and creating lives for themselves. So yeah, I'm very happy that the world is changing and I'm happy to be a young woman in this day and age because I feel uh, supported, I feel seen, I feel that my voice is being heard. I, I know we still have a long way to go, but progress is always good. Okay, interesting. Talking about women rooting out for women, most of the cases women get to complain that there's so much not there's not so much support as they would like from the folk from the female folk. Mm -hmm. How has it been with you? Um, not to speak on anyone's behalf as you've asked how it's been for me. I feel that the women around me, the women in my circle or the women who inspire me are very, very supportive. I'm, I'm, I feel blessed to be surrounded by women who are willing to share ideas, who are willing to hold your hand, uh, who are willing to mentor you, uh, who are willing to just share how they did it. Um, I'll give an example of the likes of Lulu Hangala, phenomenal woman. She's always, always, always finding ways and rooting for young women. Um, so it's people like that who make life easy our life better, our life easier. We do have great support system. It's just depending on where you're looking. But otherwise, yes, uh, women do support women. I have experienced it myself firsthand. And uh, seeing that the fact that I've also been helped by other women, it also gives me um, an opportunity or a chance to also pass the bar. You know, like I, I haven't done what I'm doing alone. and. 
I still have a long way to go and I've been helped by other women and I'm also encouraged to help other women as well. In the handyman's project and the handyman's baby, mm -hmm. have you worked with female plumbers? Uh, at the moment, no, but it would be great. It would be great. I'm still scouting for more people on my team, uh, more people who are reliable and uh, uh, people who can do the job, who have the great experience. But that is a very, very great point. I would love women on my team. Yes. Uh, being Youth Day, uh, today's theme is concentrated on youths partnering with government in development. How has it been to you, or what is your view on the this year's Youth uh, Youth Day theme? I think it's a very important theme. Um, I understand that a lot of youth feel that the government is not very supportive of um, maybe their livelihood, achieving their goals, especially when it comes to employment. So the theme is very vital. These are conversations that we need to have. How can we find ways to partner with government? How can government and the youth work together? How can youths feel supported by government? And how can government help the youth? So I feel that the theme is very important. These are conversations that need to be to be had. So I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> and I hope that it's the start of something. And I hope it's not just like a buzzword or a buzz theme. I hope that this is a step to something uh, that we're all trying to achieve. Okay, interesting. Isaiah Mumba says, Mayawandi, wali telela kwa tu samba mamukaka. God bless your business. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very uh, much. Philip Mwansa says, Na mumonika wei no chikashana, lesa akupale. Perfect, you guys. You're getting so bad support. I support, support my business. Follow it on Facebook. Sitali Simoye says, uh, we are watching. She's pretty and intelligent. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. You guys are making me blush. <laughs> uh, Luendo says, this is a very good initiative she came up with. Yes. Talking about okay. initiatives. So other than just wanting to solve the problem, because you said you have a blogging background mm -hmm. to do with fashion mm -hmm. and uh, having an education in media. Mm -hmm. And then here you are spearheading this handyman's project what really ventured you or pushed you to be in this field so yes i understand and i think even the time i was launching my business um a lot of friends of mine were like well this is unlike you you know what i mean but i feel that as i grow uh so so do i evolve um i wouldn't like to be put in a box um i think life is better when you challenge yourself and see like where you can grow and learn and where you can just expand as a person. Uh, my, my passion still remain the same. Of um, I, I have a love for people, I have a love for, fas for fashion, sorry, and all these other things that I do. But basically, um, the handyman came from a point of frustration, um, especially like being a person who, who lives alone, basically. So maybe I would like to have something painted or some a door fix, and I can't do that unfortunately. And uh, I would have the back and forth with the handyman and the plumbers and the painters. So it was a frustrating process for me. And this is not just uh, an experience that I've had. This is also something that uh, maybe my close friends, my family have had. And this is where the idea came from. Like, okay, how do I solve this? You know, because basically for me, I really enjoy convenience. I hate to feel like I'm struggling in whatever that I do. So just knowing that this is something that I'm experiencing and how can I solve this for myself? And if I'm experiencing this, I'm guessing the next person is experiencing this. So this is where the, the idea came from. And yeah, that's, that's how the handyman began. It's from a point of being frustrated. <laughs> Happy people should always look at uh, points of frustration as points to create a solution that empowers other people. No, honestly, I've heard I've read a quote that says your pain is your power. Mm. Do you know that? Um, yeah, like where you're feeling, like okay, why is this this way? That is where like opportunities lie. Opportunities lie in challenges. <clears throat> Basically, yes. 
Okay. So, how is it? Been? Most people usually say they can hardly start up something because they do not have enough capital mm -hmm. or because they do not have this. They always look for excuses not to start up that big idea that they have. So, how has it been with you to project this good idea that you had through frustration? Okay, um, I do not want to uh, take people's uh, feelings or points uh, for granted or aside. But I think that at the same time, if something is important to you, find a way. I didn't stand the I didn't start the handyman with so much money actually. This was me just coming up, writing down. Uh, okay, this is what I want to do. How am I going to How am I going to have these contacts? Um, what how am i going to advertise and we live in a world of social media social media is like your perfect marketing tool so you will just have to have like bundles <laughs> honestly this is how i started i'm not saying that uh, every business will be the same yes there's some businesses that i understand that will need like capital but also it's just nice to always start where you are with what you have um because if you keep on waiting and waiting, the business idea would never develop. So start with what you have and you grow as you go and you learn as you grow. So this is something that I've learned. I didn't start the handyman with lots of money. Um, basically, it was just me sitting up, okay, calling the handyman, having a meeting and having a sit down and seeing the best handyman and the best people who have worked on certain projects and also just advertising online as well. So. Um, my advice would be to just start with what you have and you will, with what you have, uh, um, yeah, and I think there's, there is a Bible verse that talks about like God has given you everything that you have, just learn to work with it. So that is also maybe that motto that has helped me as well. You can start where you are, like you don't need to wait for maybe, I don't know a thousand dollars to start a business and unless i don't know what business you're doing but it's always nice to know that um you're skilled uh where you are like you have the brains and also just understanding that you have people who are ready to support you no matter what you never know who's watching so just start yeah interesting interesting um what i'll be saying <laughs> Hope don't go on and bless you, bless you, bless you more. Okay, so you've been an employee and now you have your own baby that you're maturing. Yeah. Are there points that you think you get done with being an employee and just concentrate on this new thing that you have? Um, I don't know. I really, <laughs> really don't know. Um, if the handyman can sustain me to a point where I'm comfortable being uh, my own boss, that would be great. But also one thing that I'm very thankful for is that I do enjoy my job. Um, I do enjoy um, uh, what I do from Monday to Friday. Uh, so we never know. Uh, the handyman is very new. Um, and yes, I, I think it's many people's dreams to just uh, do things their own way. But we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Okay. Um, what is um, your call to the youths? What is your plea to the youths? Uh, so for the youths, I would just say today, being the 12th of March youth day, I would just say, just start, you know, just start, no matter what, just start. I feel that there are many times we have like really amazing ideas and these big plans and all of that, but we, we just keep them inside our head and we just talk about them and we never really execute these things. Um, so it's just to have the courage to start, literally just have the courage to start. And even on the times you feel unsure uh, or you feel that uh, maybe it's not yet time, I feel like there's no perfect time for for, for, for to begin something. The perfect time is always now. Actually, they say the perfect time was yesterday to begin so you're already a day late so i'll just say just start and you always always learn as you as you go you know and there are many helpful people you'd be surprised so just begin whatever it is just begin and you never know what it will turn into 
So yeah, my advice is just start. You will learn as you go. So obviously, you cannot run away from another advice to the women, especially the young women your age. Yes. Yeah, being women's nut. What is your call to the women out there? Um, I have many things to say. <laughs> Please go on. <laughs> I have many things to say. So to the women, I just want you to know that you are worthy. You are smart. You are brave. You are ambitious. And the world is your oyster. Literally, your world is your oyster. There is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing you cannot achieve as long as you put your mind to it. And uh, gone are the days of uh, people coming to tell you to be who to tell you to be who they want you to be. No, we're cancelling them, we're cancelling we're cancelling her, we're cancelling this is about you. So just chase your dreams, know that you are worthy, know that you're smart and that you can be any person you choose to be, just as long as you believe in yourself. So I know it's still women's month and yes, I'm very passionate about women. Uh that is the advice that I would say. Like just you know, just be who you are and be and apologetic about who you are chase your dreams um yeah and you are so much uh, more than you think that you are you are worthy and you are deserving of the great things you are deserving of achieving goals and everything that you want from your life thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much uh, as we get to the end of the show it is now your time to sell yourself out, make the most of social media as you say it and let people get to know how they can get in touch with you and your business. Okay, so hi again. I'm Taonga, Kaonga, <laughs> owner and founder of The Handyman. You can find The Handyman on Facebook. Please follow and like the page and you can also find The Handyman on Twitter. That is at The Handyman ZM. Um, if you're looking for a plumber, a good painter, a a good carpenter and you do not want to struggle because struggling is no <laughs> you can always always get in touch with the handyman and i'll be the perfect link to finding you the perfect handyman who will do the job on time and who will do it effectively and yeah because they're going through me so i'm the the, the quality control person so with the handyman you assured uh quality work done and yeah share <laughs> share the handyman tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends that struggling is so last year <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes so thank you thank you thank you and um, yeah just follow the handyman and share and support me you never know <laughs> alright thank you so much Danga for having us please feel free to nominate next week's guest on Smart Youth Entrepreneur goodbye <laughs>